Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, before we get into the uh, deck overview and everything for today, uh, I mentioned last week that we got a uh, channel sponsor. Um, I'm really happy that uh, they reached out to me. Um, I was I was blown away because I'm like, man, I actually like this stuff. So <laughs> it was uh, it was really cool um, for them to uh, hook me up. Um, clothing company into the AM. Uh, they make graphics tees, um, joggers, hats. I think the hats are currently sold out right now, but once they uh, get back in stock, I'll definitely be getting one. Um, women's clothing. Um, it's just really quality shirts. They got the graphics tees. They got the plain tees with the, just the little logo. If you just want to, you know, just rep the rep the brand but not go all out. You know, maybe just something basic for the day. Um, tagless real nice shirts um i i i love them man i i have uh i have a decent collection my girlfriend's got uh some of their uh shirts and stuff too so i was like heck yeah man something that i actually like that uh they want to help me out i'm more than happy to help them out uh there's a link in the description um if you go to that you can get 10 percent off or if you, when you check out, you just make sure you put in their devil's deal. Um, you actually get to make a deal with the devil to uh, get 10% off on anything in the store. They have a t-shirt club. They have um, a bundle right now where you can get three shirts for like 60 bucks or something like that. So uh, check them out. Hope the channel out. Really cool brand. I have no problem repping them. Um, thank you again, Into the AM. We appreciate you. Um, so definitely check that out. Link in the description and in the comments. Deck overview time. Uh, today we're playing some uh, Lippy, but it's Lippy Druid Gedneath Melusine. <laughs> that's, a, that's a mouthful. Um, we have Yurden in here as well because it just uh, seems to do really well. Um, I'm kind of bummed that these... Uh, cultists aren't druids but uh they work out sometimes especially on healing uh when it comes to if you can put one next to melusine to heal it back up after it does its damage it works out pretty well um you know you can tell you it, it, it basically it gives you four bombs is the way i look at it um you have series you have yurden you have melusine and then you have um Gedneath. I think I said that twice. Maybe I didn't. Uh, but uh, the way I usually play it, especially on red coin, is I'm getting my series out. I want to get my thin. If you do have some of the discard package, Morkvarg, um, Hey May, you could go with the other um, Mask of Aboros. But if you don't draw any of these, it might get kind of weird. I like just drawing the it, drawing the bombs. I want to pull what I want to pull. Plus two, like sometimes this, your, your board can get filled up pretty quick and you don't really want to just have two little crows on the board when you could be missing out on a Morkvarg. I think it happened to me twice where I just had too much stuff on the board and uh, I all lost either a Skirm or a um, Morkvarg. So uh, be wary of the melee row on what's going to proc over there. I, I, I don't know why, but I thought Morkvarg wasn't melee locked, but he is. Um, that shows you how much I play Lippy or have played lippy recently um some of the other combos you want to try to get the um the idiot boat combo you know you can go priest and hermit and protector it it kind of makes it kind of awkward though if you play the hermit next to the protector because whatever he gains he loses um i usually try to go priest and then something and then protector and then hermit and cultist on the other side so you got you can make that like sandwich of you know the priest something and protector or cultist something and cultist to where you can boost and heal or damage and boost on both sides um i only got one singer in here i absolutely love this premium this is incredible i just Every time I, I, I'm in awe of it. I, it's probably, I think it's the best premium. Just the effects and the looks and everything of it are great. Um, 
I did have Heat Wave in here, but it just seemed like Yurden was doing way more work um, with all the greed. Um, but yeah, it's uh, there are some bricks. I don't have Snowdrop in here. Um, it's a high rolly friend, but I th if you're not playing monsters, I feel like you got to take some. You either, you either got to play monsters or uh, syndicate with uh, the you know the mini bounty package. But um, I had some fun with this. I don't know about like I'm curious what you guys think, but um, uh, like when the beginning like the expansion drops, do you just instantly just play something good and go go ham on it, or do you just experiment? I have the bad habit. I don't know if it's a bad habit, but I start playing with the the cards and trying different things out, and like it seems like I just get crushed. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's it's part of experimentation, and plus two, everybody's gonna like. You're not gonna see the the self eater deck on this channel. I that's one thing that I always do when I I don't play the like number one in, you know popular deck crusher list. Like, there's I think the monster list that's on Plague Went is up to like 400 upvotes. It's like everybody knows about this list. If you you've you've played it. Or you played Verse it, it's like, yes, we know it's extremely good. It's got a ton of points. Um, yeah, but I'm not playing it. So if you're looking for that, you're on the wrong channel. Um, I like playing things that are good and things that are competitive, but I don't I don't like playing the number one like tiered list, like especially something like that where just everybody's playing it. So um, but couple games here one's against a line pockets and the other one is against uh, what was it against uh, oh monsters it was a weird weird game though it was a I don't know you'll see it was a weird monster game but um, thank you guys so much for everything I greatly appreciate each and every one of you I'll see you guys at the end Ooh. Pingy friends. With the wrong kind of All right, we got the OK coin, so maybe, maybe we can get enough points here. Um. Ugh. Okay, so I think we still open up with series. This is a huge. Well, I guess it has thing on it. So it's not a total. We you can do something cheeky with this one if you play this just outright. You could play series on this side and get it to proc without using your leader charges. But the leader charges are kind of awkward anyway. So. Okay. I think we just have to go series right now just because of how our hand is and Roach being in hand, which kind of gives away what we got going on. Next, we'll play the Hermit and a Cultist, or a Hermit and a Protector, one or the other. Justice comes down. We don't really have any boosts. Oh, this is boost. I guess he could bleed a lot, though. Which is always awkward. Um. Yeah, I think we take it slow. I think we go here. I guess the protector is less bounty. I can't wait to hear your wicked flesh sizzle. So then we go here. You stand get three. And I mean if we get 
what's it called out of them I think we're happy Fistic. That actually gives us a buff. Where do we place this? Heal the unit to the left. And damage the unit to the right. This is going to die anyways, so who cares? Right? Okay. So he could start hitting this. If he does kill this, this is still going to grow, which is nice. Okay, so he's going to... Oh, he's going to play two more for the fist tech. Really? Full bank? For what? Horsen. He wants Horsen that bad. Bank for a mutant. And it doesn't even get him that far ahead. Um... Does this get us there? No. Let's see what we get with Berna. We, shall do it we got one. Whoa! Okay then. That was pretty, pretty skilled. <laughs> He's got to be running into stuff he doesn't want to use, though. And having this roach kind of hurts. You would think he would kill something, though. I guess I could discard the roach. Doesn't seem all that great, but... Drill! Round one! Whoa! It, it, but... So can I get there in two cards? Kill one thing. He's gotta look at the card to see what it does. Um... I think we'll be all right. He used drill. I think we'll be all right with it. How many druids? We have a lot of druids left, right? Yeah. Ten points. This is four. This is only nine. We would have to use this. If I had room... Don't you pester me. Ooh! Oh, it goes to melee too? Oh. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Dip for three. He makes room for us. But do I want to spend this? He has no carryover. We thinned our bank. Or our graveyard. This is seven. We still got carryover with Roach too. That's 26. 
I think we jump out. He spent drill. I think we're good. I think this is okay. He still has horsing to kill this. There's the druids. Okay. Okay, we got our druids. I think we dropped the cultist. Do we have any bricks left? No. We could... I guess we could plot. We can... Healing might be huge, though. But I think we... Yurd might be good for... What's his name? He just passes. Okay. So, long round. He doesn't have drill. He still has horse and... We got two druids. It would be really nice to see Lippy. We didn't play a gold card. Well, no, we did, but we just didn't... Uh... Thank you. Okay, I think this is our hand. Uh, it for sure is our hand. Beautiful. So we go here. <laughs> I think we play this later. This doesn't heal. This is going to get bigger, so we just make it awkward for him anyways. Uh, we need room for Lippy, so we go up here. Next we can go Priest again. We just stockpile him. Play it right here. This might be another offensive Yurden. We got room for series. Okay. That's fine. That's just going to keep getting bigger. He doesn't get that great of a like, profit off of it. Um, ah. That's going to get poison. That's fine. So... F six. More lease. That's fine. Um... So for healing, ah, we go here, right? Opinions are like ours, it's everyone's golf on, but most are best side of all. So this should always get higher than this one. He's got to put the bounty on it, which is going to be weird. I think this should still work out pretty well. I want this to be higher than this so that it doesn't get bounty. He might, well, I guess he might end up with a really tall swindle. So he gets the boat out. That's fine. This is still up there. I think I save this for this. So we go Lippy now. Time for some marauding. Okay. So we still got Knickers to pop out. So it's higher than this. Okay, so there's our Yurden, hopefully. 
Just take the whole finger. Hopefully. So we go. Do we go here or do we go here? I think we go here. Alright. Maybe we should have went up here for the Yurden. Blacksmith. On that, we find ourselves in agreement. Okay. Yeah, the Yurden's going to come up pretty huge. We rain back row. That's fine. He still hasn't dropped a, a thing yet. So we go here. I think we play the series now. Let's make sure we got room. Go here. Hang that. 51. Ah, we can ping here once too. Alright. We can go here. He wants to get this bounty on it, right? Currently, the Yurden is playing for a pretty good amount. Dip. Yeah, Yurden's gonna go bananas. We go here. We go again back here. Fifty-seven. Yeah, I mean, if he has double poisons, he just loses, right? This is up to 13. So that's 7. Yeah, this... This should be over. I would hope. So his last card is Freak Show. Yeah, his last card's Freak Show. So we go... Well, no matter what, we're Yurden and... Damn it. Go here. Double rain. And... Double ping this. I guess we could ping this. Alright, 61. Healed back up to 7. 63. Siggy for a huge. How many does he get? Does he get six, 60 points here? <laughs> he gets one. It's a big one. Bigums. Yeah, spending that much in round one was not correct. And that would have been a 50 point thing if I didn't have Yurden. The rain worked out okay. I guess I didn't really have to play it there. It didn't do anything because it didn't pop off. But, alright. We'll try one more. Movement Frost, huh? Okay. Up and at him, you lazy bastards! You'll sleep when you're dead. We go first. We got the hand fixer. Uh, we're gonna need it. Wow. We 
No a Nero. I guess we could draw a Nero though. This seems fine. Uh, what do we open with? I think we just go here. Hey, listen here. This is that was well. dangerous. Guess we don't have to Nero for that. Um, we grab the Melusine. The Melusine. So we can go Hermit. Heime. Yeah, we got all three bombs in hand. Ghoul Yacht. Whoa. Okay. He's Mill Monsters, huh? So we grab... Well, he's going to pull out Melusine for us, right? Is it high? It's highest... Highest unit. Yeah, that would be Melusine. Oh, well, it could be a Hermit, too. So... Let's, um... Grab up that. Put back this and play the hermit. Seems good. Then I can play Melusine. If he gives me. Well, no, I'll, I'll play the. No. I'll have to wait and see. I think we I think we saved Melusine possibly for round hmm. Now I'm tempted to do it because I can kill this. But I think we go here. You shot get three. I could play it back here now. We got double engine. We can go down pretty low. He wants a longer. I mean, he's frost, right? Where's his frost at? He should play thing right now. We got the heal too for here, which is nice. Really. Uh, do we want to use this? I should have put that back in the deck, but I think I need the points. We shall do it my way. Uh, I think we get rid of this. I guess that, since we're not going to use it. A little awkward, but... Next, we'll play the Protector. I'm hoping to play this next round. 24. So, is he Sabbath, too? Freya's bulwark. That's what we are. Oh, he got an extra armor on it, huh? Really? Wow. Alright, well, let's thin this out. Step careful there. 41. I got a heal here. If it hits this, it uh, actually messes him up. I might take the pass. Catchers. Bells tinkling a lively melody. 
She who knows is a 50-50, right? Well, he doesn't need that much. I'm gonna pass. If he plays she who knows, but he's playing the wrong leader for his... What's it called? I'm gonna need another druid. I got three. It sucks that these aren't druids. Oh, and he spent a crone. That's good. That's real good. Now the question is, does he have heat wave? The heals can come up pretty good. Yurden. I'm. He's gotta have piggies, right? I think we dropped the discard. It would have been nice to have, uh, he just takes the pass, okay, um, I guess we go here. I might run out of room, we'll see. We open up with the get in -eath. Draw another druid, hopefully. That's a cultist, there it is. And another one, okay. So, what's left? This is the hand, we don't want a monkey with all that other stuff. Um, yeah. Go here. Did we not draw a Nero? Oh, it's in hand, never mind. So we go Priest, Melusine, Heat Wave, okay. So we had the Heat Wave. So our Melusine should live. Then we go Cultist, Hermit. These ones should work out pretty good. I think we should get the Melusine online. Well, we want to get at least a, two damage off of our rain. Yeagern, huh? Okay. Um, yeah, we go here. That seems all right. Next we go Hermit. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah, we go here. What is this deck? It's crazy, it's... He's not played any of his frosty friends. It's like no unit. Huh. All right. A drop of knowledge can overpower even a seer strap. So we can do a couple pings here. I have a feeling this Yurden is going to be really sad. <laughs> really sad. Uh, he's catching up to... Frosty time. We could play this in the middle. So he's going to move... Really, he's going to move her. Okay. So... Yeah, I think this deed mom go back. Oh shoot. Um. We 
go here? Or do we just go Lippy? Because he's just going to use this anyways, but... I think we just go Lippy. My okay. Nickers comes out. Still got series. Look at this perfect bomb. If he has it. Consume. He doesn't eat it. Wow. Um We might just use it here, to be honest. I guess we go... Hmm. It's kind of weird, like everything's like in a funky spot. I think we go here though. Yeah, I guess we just spend all our leader charges. It's gonna be weird. I guess he can eat still. The Bruis is kind of weird. How does he kill that, right? And what does he eat? Really weird game. Really weird. A Nero into... A bomb. Purify. So he wants to kill this. Um, so we go series. Go here. Get back going. We rain here. And it goes up too. Maybe I should have. I guess if he has one bomb. Are we really that sad though? Because what's his last card? Osril? Yeah, I'm real confused on what's going on, but I'm sure <laughs> Dandelion already knows. Oh, it's Boost! That doesn't do anything, though. So 33, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, so we do it this way, we go here, here, and here. Was it, is this melee locked? No. And we just... Yurd in here. 20 points. Twenty? Do we have twenty, sir? The offensive Yurd. Something you don't see too often. Alright. Igni. Osril is a 10. Not enough. GG. I've worked out. Really weird deck though.
Really weird. Good game. Hey, that's the video for today, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, something a little bit different. Yes, it's still lippy, but it, it's. I think it's cool because it has some extra engines and you don't have to all in on Melusine like some of the other decks. So it's just kind of like a bonus if it pops off. And then if they heat wave that, then your Gedneath goes through. So it makes them like kind of on their toes. So let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.